We are learning more tonight about a 14 year old who's accused of shooting and killing a man in New Kensington. It's a crime police are calling a random act of violence and he's still on the run. Erica Stanish is live to tell us how this investigation is intensifying now. Erica. Yeah, with help from a witness and surveillance video from where the shooting happened, police have identified the shooter as 14 year old Amir Kennedy, who now has a felony warrant for his arrest and is facing criminal homicide charges and the death of Jason Rafford, who we're learning tonight was a husband and a father to two young girls. It's, it's a messed up situation, totally. Residents in New Kensington reacting tonight after a father, husband and son was shot and killed in broad daylight Sunday. It's, it's very heartbreaking. I mean, because now his, his wife don't have him. His, his two daughters are growing up without a dad. Broken glass remains outside the New Kensington housing complex on Fifth Avenue where shots were fired. Police say 14 year old Amir Kennedy pulled the trigger using a long rifle. Why do these kids nowadays think that guns are cool? Why do they think violence is cool? I mean, because it's not cool. Now this kid, when he gets caught, he's going to literally be facing the rest of his life in jail. At the age of 14, you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail over something stupid. Police say the victim, Jason Rayford, walked into the stairwell here on Sunday where there were six other people when a struggle ensued. According to paperwork, video surveillance reveals several guns were drawn, including Kennedy's, who had his rifle pointed at Rayford. Both men then ran outside when bullets rang out. Detectives are now searching for the teen who was wanted and facing criminal homicide charges. Detectives could be seen actively investigating Tuesday wearing bulletproof vests as they talk to witnesses. Those who knew Rayford said he'd give you the shirt off his back and that his smile was contagious. They said they're devastated knowing he now leaves behind two young daughters. I mean, he, he had his own struggles, but he was always humble and kind and polite to everybody. Like, it's just sad that a 14-year-old did this, you know. Right now, there's no motive for the shooting, but the district attorney here in Westmoreland County is asking the community to remain vigilant. They're asking if you see Kennedy or if you know where he is to call 911 immediately. Reporting live in Westmoreland County, Erica Stanish, KDK News.